Hope you don't mind, I'm in the mood for a bit of a quickie, so let's see if we can't get this done and be on with our merry way. Um, so here's the situation. You have yourself a nice new modified uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Um, perhaps you put a uh, IPS screen in your Game Boy. Your battery life kind of sucks. You know, you're getting like two to three hours, give or take. Uh, maybe more, maybe less. Regardless, hey, maybe you buy a new battery. Maybe that helps you out. Maybe not. Uh, so the original battery in this thing, this is an original battery from, I don't know, 2003, whenever the hell these came out. Uh, this battery is not from this console itself, but it was from another console. I put it in this one because I personally, I just liked how, I like the aesthetic. Uh, but this battery here is a new, aftermarket battery and I did actually test the capacity on this and even though it says 700 milliamp hours uh, I actually tested 650 so it's okay it's not what it's chalked up to be but batteries of this caliber rarely are uh, anyway I had another idea a third idea someone had mentioned some batteries that actually do happen to fit in a uh, SP quite nicely and these are 603048, that is the size of the battery, so um, 60 millimeters by 30 millimeters by 4.8 millimeters or something like that, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but you search that number you'll find this battery. These are 900 milliamp hour nominal cells, so I haven't actually tested this one, so I don't know if that's what it is. Um, as you can see, I've never even installed it, this is just how they come, but you'll notice this cell does fit in here quite nicely, aside from these wires. There we go. Nice and flush, no bulging, etc., etc. Biggest problem here is, uh, of course, you know, how do you connect this to that? Uh, the easy answer is just solder it, but I don't really like that answer. Um, it's kind of permanent. Once you get solder on these gold contacts, you'll never get the solder off. So you'll always have to use soldered cells. And for some of you, that might be perfectly fine. But uh, that's not okay with me. My problem with solder is that when you're using it on uh, surface connectors, the surface layer of the solder will oxidize over time. And, um, well, the, the oxide layer of solder is non-conductive. So, let's say you're using this as a soldered cell, this cell dies, you go back to using this, your battery isn't going to work reliably and consistently. Of course, since this one still has a gold plating, it's perfectly fine. Uh, another issue when you solder to these, the plastic holding these tabs in might start melting, so you might have some success, you might not. I don't recommend it, but maybe I'm a grumpy old man set in his ways. Uh, anyway, that's where this comes in. So I uh, just quickly sketched, uh, designed up a PCB in KiCad and sent it off to Osh Park. Unfortunately, it did not meet their minimum size requirements, so I literally hit Control A, Control C, Control V, and uh, got two of them instead. So instead of just ordering three of these, I now have six. Um, but like usual, they do come paneled, or not paneled, but they make them paneled at, with these breakaway tabs, so you have to file that off. I've already gone through that trouble on this one here. Uh, so we don't have to sit here and watch me file these away. But how this is supposed to work, let me show you. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and solder this battery onto this, and I'll show you all about how this works. So I'm going to cut this red wire nice and short. This black wire I'm going to cut not as short. But don't worry. It'll all come together momentarily. I have no idea if this battery is charged. I kinda hope it is. And as long as you get a 3.7 volt cell, it should still charge in an SP without having to modify anything. It 
should. This is a uh, do-at-your-own-risk type thing, but it should work. So instead of soldering directly to the Game Boy Advance SP, I have now soldered to a PCB that cost me all of, I don't know, like 30 cents or something. Um, the whole order was a little bit more than that, but that's fine. And you can see on the other side it has the two contacts, but this is sized particularly so you can just jam it in there and it should stay in place. Tuck those wires in, pop that bad boy on there, and Bob Gianti. So assuming the capacity on this cell checks out, I should have uh, quite a bit more capacity, uh, 900 milliamp hours versus 650. That's not insignificant. That is. Uh, I mean, if you're getting, what, four hours, that's basically going to be six hours. Uh, not great, but still better. Uh, and it should still, of course this one's been Type-C modded, but should still charge like normal as well. So, there you go. I'll go ahead and post a link to these PCBs. Uh, you can order them from Osh Park, or from wherever really, but... It, just make sure if you don't order them from Osh Park that you get the uh, gold plating. Uh, that's kind of important for maintaining your connectors, but otherwise, I'm happy with how that turned out. It was super easy to install, and even if the uh, fitment isn't perfect, the battery should still be able to keep it in place. And if that fails too, just tape the darn thing and double-sided tape. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night.